I've been told in my life that I'm a person with a lot of juice. Mike is a spinal cord injured patient, a paraplegic patient. Life turned on him uh, on a dime. The accident probably shouldn't have happened. It's what I call one of God's curveballs. The first reason why we have been involved in the race car project is that we wanted to help Mike. We clearly understood the vision of the project to get him behind the wheel and to get him racing again in a way that would uh, satisfy him and inspire others. He mentioned that uh, he would like to get back into a race car again. He would uh, have it modified with hand controls and he'd like to drive other patients around. And the way he described it, he uh, needed this to live. So it all just kind of came together. There are, are very sophisticated electronics embedded in this car and in the cars that we, and trucks that we all drive. And they're actually now electronics embedded in just about everything. There's electronics behind everything that Mike touches in that car. So when he's grabbing that throttle bar behind the steering wheel, electronics are connected to that throttle. When he's shifting the car with that infrared sensor, uh, certainly there's electronics, and not just wires, but there's electronic brains behind that as well. So lots of computer chips, lots of uh, digital technology, and what Arrow does is design and engineer all those systems so that they work coherently together. Our engineers and designers design new systems and compile uh, existing technologies in new ways. So let's just do it, just jump in. It's a great example of how we can push the boundaries of an automobile so that if we can make a car and help make a car that someone like Mike can drive at track speeds, then those technologies not only can be applied to all of our vehicles someday, but just the inspiration that, that you can do what you want if you push yourself a little bit further. I'm gonna learn to set the car down. I'm gonna see how it goes in the corner. I wanna know how hard it breaks and what happens when it breaks. Uh, admittedly, I've never seen him drive at all. I'm, I'm believing in Mike. I could be wrong, but I think that they're gonna say, wow, that guy's pretty fast. We never wanna take the human being out of the car. That driving is inherently cool and it gives you freedom and we want to be able to do that even more, but we want to be able to do it safely. So by using the most advanced electronics we have, not only can really profoundly disabled people be able to drive at race speeds, but also that all those technologies can come to bear in our own daily lives so that we can drive more safely than ever. It's a terrific example of what Arrow does which is to uh, guide innovators uh, to a better tomorrow.